I've literally generated hundreds of these, put my face on everything, and you're gonna be able to do that too right when this video's over. So let's go ahead and dive right in. You're going to want about 20 images of yourself. I have 16 close in headshots and about four from the waist up. You wanna to try to get your face from as many different angles, different backgrounds, and wearing different clothes as possible. All of these images should be exactly 512 by 512 pixels. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come to this long URL here. I will make sure the URL is available in the comments. First step, we're gonna click this play button next to check type of GPU and VRAM available, run anyway. We're gonna click on play next to install requirements. This took about 47 seconds. You're going to want to click on this link here that says visit the model card and then you're gonna to need to sign up for a Hugging Face account. So once you're signed up, you're actually gonna to wanna to close this tab completely, come back to this page again, click on this model card link again. When you get to this page, there's going to be a button down here at the bottom to accept the terms and conditions. Make sure you click that button. Once you've checked that box, you're gonna come up to the top right where your little profile icon should be, click on it and come down to settings. Under settings, click on this access tokens button. Go ahead and create a new token. The name really doesn't matter. It can be anything you want. I'm just gonna put example, and then you wanna change the role to right. Go ahead and generate your token. Go ahead and click this button to copy the code and paste this code right here next to the Hugging Face token. Go ahead and press play on this. Come down to this next step, install Xformers from pre-compiled wheel. Go ahead and just click this play button and let it run and that took about 12 seconds. There's a button here that says save to G drive. I like to select that output directory. So I'm gonna call this uh, Mr. Eflow model, and then I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and it's going to make you connect to Google Drive, and you can see that took about 15 seconds there. So we're gonna keep on scrolling down here to where it says start training. Next to instance prompt, this is going to be the prompt you're going to use to get it to pull in your face. So for example, if I was making an image of Mark Cuban in space, eating a burrito, wearing a cowboy hat, and I wanna replace that image and not have Mark Cuban's face, but my own face, I need a prompt keyword to use in place of Mark Cuban. So my example, I use Mr. Eflow. So my instance prompt, I'm gonna put photo of Mr. Eflow and then I'm gonna replace dog with person, because I'm a person and not a dog. The class prompt, so I'm gonna replace dog also with person. The instance data directory, so I'm just gonna call this Mr. Eflow, and then the class data directory, I'm gonna call person. Then we're gonna go ahead and click play, and it's gonna create those various folders for us real quick. And now we're to the point where we're gonna upload our images. If I come over here to this folder on the left side of the screen, click on this, open up the data folder, open up the Mr. Eflow folder here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these files that I've already pre-cropped, select them all, and I'm just gonna drag and drop them over into this Mr. Eflow folder, and I can skip this play button we've already uploaded. We're gonna go all the way down, we're gonna leave everything mostly the same. Next to num class images here, I'm gonna set this to 12. Max train steps, so I'm gonna put max train steps at 2000. The save interval, I'm also just gonna put that at 2000. And then when this is all done processing, it's gonna run some example images for you. Now, when it runs the example images right now, it's gonna give you an example image of ZWX dog. So for this one, I'm gonna change that to photo of Mr. Eflow person. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click this play button. This is the part that actually takes some time to process. So that process is finished now. You can see up here, it took about 37 minutes. So the next step next to this weights directory, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it blank and press play. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click this play button to generate a grid of preview images. So these are all AI generated images using my likeness and the photos that I uploaded. So next you're gonna go to this inference, click play on here, let it run this script. All right, so that took about 37 seconds. So this random seed here, this could literally be any number. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as this default seed for now and click play. And now we can type a prompt to generate some images of ourselves. So in this prompt, I'm going to use my keyword that I created earlier, photo of Mr. Eflow. And then we wanna put person after it, wearing a top hat on the beach, eating, a potato. Number of samples, this is how many sample images it's gonna generate for you. This guidance scale, it seems like if you put the number somewhere between five and 15, you get the best images. I'm gonna go with nine, and then you can change the height and width. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on 512 by 512 for right now. 
and then I'm gonna click play, and now it's going to run and generate some images for me. So it took about 39 seconds to generate these four images. Let's see what it's got. So this is the first Im image it generated of me in a top hat on the beach, and that's a potato on a plate and you can see what it generated. If you go to this site, lexica.art. So one of my favorite things to do on this site is to type in a celebrity name. And I like to look up a celebrity's name because then it's really easy to just replace that celebrity name with my own name, Tom Cruise, first name that came to my mind. So if I like a style of any of these images, I can go ahead and copy exactly what they did and replace the name Tom Cruise with Mr. Eflow Person. So let's find a really cool stylistic image here. So let's say I really like this one, a portrait drawing of Tom Cruise drawn by Robert Crumb. So I can go ahead and I can actually copy this entire prompt, come over to Dream Booth, and in the prompt, paste that exact prompt, and then it gives me a seed number. I can actually copy this seed number, replace it with this one, go ahead and press play. It's got a guidance scale of seven and dimensions of 512 by 512. So. Let's change our guidance scale here to seven and the dimensions to 512 by 512. So let's go ahead and replace Tom Cruise with Mr. Eflow person. All right, so it took about 35 seconds this time. Let's see what it gave us. So here's a handful of drawing images and that's really all there is to it. Now you can literally put your face on anything you want and any style image you want.